know, it's brought me out of my shell. It's uh, it's given me a chance to um, speak different things that uh, dwell within within me that you know used to eat me up and burn me up. And uh, when I uh, had, I think, about the breaking ground, I was like very, um, I was very shy. I was like 15, and I mean, through it, I have grown as a person. I've grown as a writer. I've grown as a performer. Uh, it's led to me being able to get independently booked, like on my own as a performer. And um, just joining PGP has made me so much more like involved in my community, got me out of bed, like I, I didn't have a job, I was dropped out of high school, I had no motivation, and now it's like, you know, I got my own place. Like it actually like really kicked me up and like made me realize I actually do have something going on. And it's like, you know, I was content just honestly wasting my life away and she was like, oh, you got, you got something going on here. And I was like, really, you actually think that? Like nobody's ever thought that about me before, so. Um, it's also opened up the entire world for writing. The Breaking Ground, to me, isn't just about poetry, it's about storytelling in general. Basically, everyone has a story to tell, and at The Breaking Ground, everyone is willing to listen. Uh, meeting the poets today, that's kind of opened me up to the opportunities I'm trying to get right now, like um, places to perform, places to like view my opinion. Uh, they've given me a lot of good advice about what to do with that, where to go, you know, how to start, and uh, I really appreciate it. I think what excites me about writing is like the opportunity to become something that's other than yourself, but not only in that, ask yourself questions that might be sort of like uncomfortable or make you feel very vulnerable and do it in a way that makes you feel more secure. I'm creating something that nobody has before, you know? It's like, with writing, I feel like it's from my own experience, it's from my own, you know, point of view. If I write, you know, I can create something that nobody has before and hopefully, uh, you know, inspire other people to do the same. Being able to say whatever I want and, um, you know, it's, and it's mine. It's not, you know, you can't just walk up to people and just tell them what's on your mind, you know, like uh, writing and especially performing too. I think performing is a big part of it, for me anyway. Um, just being able to get things off your chest or off your shoulders and um, a big part of it too is, is to help people because you never know you know, you never know who, who could relate to something that you have to say or, you know, who could get something out of it or who could be having a rough day and what you have to say pulls them out of it or, you, you know, like, uh, you just never know until you say something and um, it's just a freeing feeling. It's a, it's just a great avenue in all aspects of my life when I write, um, whenever I do sit down to really write, I, uh, I really dig deep and it makes me um, makes me feel a lot better afterwards um, and it just helps me organize my thoughts I think. It's like a, almost like a life alert, like you've seen those commercials where it's like help I fall and I can't get up. It's like whenever I'm at my lowest point, like writing is like I don't want to talk to anybody else about it because I'm feeling overwhelmed and I can't really just like sit there and stew in it, I have to get it out some way and I, I've always had struggled with finding like a means of self-expression, like I've never really had hobbies or gotten too much into anything, but writing is like the one thing where it's like, I'm at my lowest, it's just a vent. To me, writing is everything I adore. I love music, and the thing I love most about music is lyrics, and when it comes to, uh, I just like reading and writing at the same time. Sometimes I even watch movies with the subtitles on because I'm more concerned about the words and what's going on on screen. <laughs> uh, writing to me is uh, just the greatest part of human adventure. You'll never run out of words to learn. There's so many words out there to learn. And every day you're constantly learning. You'll just never be able to master the language, but you can try. And I've walked barefoot through tiled deserts of bathrooms to find the mirage of my distorted body image staring up at me from the tainted water in the toilet. I used to daydream about freedom. I used to daydream about appreciating the abundance of food around me. Searching for a garment that will make me the most me in a magazine. And I didn't know this then, but somewhere my delicate friend with eyes like an owl is also pouring through those eyes, looking at torture devices on the internet. And I wonder where Macy's ranks on that list with all these. 
She clicks her molars softly to mirror the rain on the window outside. Her eyes a glazy gristle jumping from TV to window to ceiling. All those brooms, she sighs. You must get lost. And I tell her that I do. Almost every day. And it's hard to remember who I am. A cicada's final screech. Ooh. Their hard plastic other body falling, dirt bound, planting nothing. I sleep and dream of crowds of flies. Wake up grabbing at my phone for a name, for an hour, a number for the chill behind me, before me, a jaw of the older stock, prehistoric and reassembled, clinches my neck till it a rivet, a screw in a bigger design. What tool am I? I wear a skirt and smile the wide way I should be. Gathering, open, acceptance, progress, um, excitement, and deep, fun, eye-opening, uncomfortable, dynamic, necessary, um, go for it. I mean, when I first started, everything was very new to me. It made it was. You know, I was scared. It's it's a it's a big thing to be able to uh, you know be vulnerable in front of people, and um, but it's just it's just an incredible experience. Like you can't even I don't know. I, I don't even have words really to say like how much it's just changed my life and affected me. You know, and it just opens your eyes to a lot of different things. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. You meet a lot of great people. You hear a lot of great art. Um, you know, you perfect your art. You pretty much create a family through working with all these people and um, you know and you hear what they have to say and a lot of it resonates with you and you know it's like you form friendships and really tight bonds with people.